welcome to Nawal Social Club, a show about food, friends, fun and competition. Five teams compete against each other over the next five weeks to host their guests on a theme night. They'll be judged on their food, vibe, entertainment and authenticity. No, this is cup. It's actually their shit cup. This is cup. Let me see what it did. Each team has a chance to walk away with a grand prize of 20,000 Rand cash and a three night stay at a Clifton beachfront bungalow valued at 60,000 Rand. We go from a night in Paris to the islands of Greece. Travel back in time with the Great Gatsby and take a day off Opi Plus before taking the Silk Route straight to the finish line where their scores will be counted and the winners will be crowned. Good evening and welcome to the fifth and final episode of Noel Social Club. Now the past five weeks have been pretty eventful if you ask me. Tonight we are hosted by The Bachelors, Mo and Warwick. Get ready for a journey on the Silk Route. Our night is different, it's better. I know it's better. I'm critical and I know it's better. I would say first impressions, unreal, unbelievable. They went way out to impress everybody because they were lost and they had some stuff up their sleeves. Yeah. When we came in, there was this lady with this firing, I like that. And then obviously the Mendy and the hand massages. And that, Mohammed made up for not sending us a pin location. So, Sorry. so we were in a power mood, oh. entering, <laughs> but that changed very quickly. When That's you saw it. the fire lady. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, maybe, maybe, no. <gasps> when Charles saw the lady with the, with doing all the fireworks, and Charles was like, oh, crap. Tonight's gonna be a person. <laughs> You can't be not enjoying yourself. You have henna done, you have... Mm. Different enjoyment. It's beautiful. I wanted it to end off on a very calm, peaceful note tonight. When you go sleep, you sleep peacefully and know that the show, we've done. The hard part is done. We had a beautiful so, welcome impressive. with the fire lady. And um, just love the whole, the whole flow. Right? Yeah, beautiful. Oh, the wings. I forgot to show the wings. Spice. The Sultan of, of Swing. The Sultan of Swing. The Sultan of Swing. <laughs> I love it. I want to see some Billy dancers and waiting for the camel rides to come, you know. Being from the desert, that that's in my... Uh, Any Billy dancers you can see later, that's it. Yeah. You guys need to sit down and have me explain to you yeah. all of these what? beautiful what? dishes. Do you want to explain to you? Mo, 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 Mo. Don't forget to put it in the microwave for Sumi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we eat spicy food, so yeah. a lot of the food is spicy. Yes, um, we did cater for the people that don't want too much spice, and we catered for people who want a lot of spice kind of situation. Uh, maybe, but we did. Let's see. Mo, we've met on a few occasions, so he knows he likes hot. And he knows I'm and not. she snot. <laughs> um, I've got a slight temperament to hot food, so we'll have to see. I hope they take that into consideration because we consider all our guests. No, but everything was strong, even the malt. You brought African grey chilies for the thing. I cannot fabricate a chili that isn't at Woolworths, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I hope Mohammed made the food himself because if he so. did it. Boo, 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 boo. Uh, mm. Hmm. <laughs> if they didn't cook the type of food. And they've got problems for tonight. I suppose. Hmm? Yeah, 
The name served, guys. What, what? I'm nervous because you gave them shits on their nights about Corin and Bronx. Because you gave them shits on their nights. Who? Corin and Bronx. No. Sorry? But the surprise takes on 2,000 years ago. No, there was, was an auction. Show there. You know the first person that comes to my head one second? Sumi. Sumi. Sumi? That one. Mom. You know why I kept you here? Not because I need to keep my enemies close and all of that. I kept you here because I know <laughs> on the table, you're going to be the one that's going to understand the flavors the most. <laughs> We're in for a treat. We're in for I a can, treat. I can tell you this now. The boys is not going to want to be on stage. So I want you to just be there because everyone else will just think spicy, but you'll understand the flavors better than everyone else. Totally. I'm looking forward to this. This is, this is amazing. And thus far, give credit to you. It's spectacular. Are oh, you had the, the double hand massage as well, eh? Spectacular. Welcome to the journey on the Soul Crute. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Yes. It's time for the dinner service and I just want to talk about the first entree meal. So for the entree, I'll be serving a very, very popular street side dish in India. Chaat. It's served everywhere. It's delicious. I've been to India so many times and the first thing I eat is chaat. So it's prepared on the spot. It's made with fresh ingredients, variety of flavors. Uh, uh, um, there's the green chutney, there's fried stuff, there's fresh coconut. I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm just going to prepare the dish for you. Warwick? Well, I know how Mo cooks and Warwick. Um, so I am expecting to enjoy the food unless they somebody else cooks it. I don't know. <laughs> this is from the bar. This is all business. Yeah, that's what I think it is. This is all business. That's why I said that's a problem. This is all business. You eat anything. That starts with the wall. Yeah. Well, it's the last one, so this must be the most exciting. I'm sure there's a bit of tension in the air, you can feel it. It's difficult to be that confident because everyone downstairs mm. is one face, and they're all like, no, we're not like this, we're not like that. Come upstairs, it's a different story. So. You mean two faced? Two f no, but I'm not going to say that word on camera. Uh, the another another of mm -hmm. Put it back. Oh, you no, no. Just put it in for a minute. Nice, then you'll enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Just put it, put it in for you? Please. Oh, my goodness. Anybody? Just put it proper for a minute then show them. No, so even if you do it, worry. I'll come out the kitchen. <laughs> oh, no. Salu. Yeah, it was okay. It could have been a bit more masala because it was supposed to be masala. It was masala right? yeah. yeah. It was lovely, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't take me to India. This is something I've always wanted to make. I've never made this dish before. Okay. The first time I'm also tasting it. Listen, this will be quite nice. This will be quite nice on a ruti, eh? Mm. <laughs> well, for somebody that doesn't like um, the types of food, salami. not bad. You take it from the like uh, the, the, the entree, uh, it's not my thing that I, I normally eat. That was like a seven. I don't eat that stuff. Okay, so the That was cool. Was I was stressed about the soup, it's but the soup is on the way. It's simmering. Mm. It's good. It's like it's going to be a yummy, yummy soup. So yeah. No, I just want to talk about this dish. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So this oh, is an Asian cool. soup. It's a chicken soup, but it's simmered in a mutton broth, toppled with coriander, um, spring onions, and coconut shavings. It's a bit spicy because it's Thai inspired, but it's good for the cold. Fantastic. My kind of soup. Good for the cold. So it's amazing. I enjoyed the broth. The broth was nice to me. I just felt that there was way too much chicken in it because, you know, for me, a soup shouldn't be overpowered with lots of, you know, like um, poultry. It was a lot of chicken in there. The starter for me, it didn't work for me. It worked for you, Raudana. I think you got dished up from the bottom. Yeah, but the broth time. itself was beautiful. I love Asian food, so for me, it, it took me back to a bit of you know, like a Thailand flavor there. So I loved it. You guys enjoying the soup? Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. You're too faced. All of you are too faced. <laughs> yes, man, it's warm enough. No, no, it needs to be on fire a little bit. Yeah, yeah. a little bit on fire. Show his father. Can't drink a cup of coffee if it's not still boiling in the cup. But, but you know what? I get this full tab from my dad. I get this full tablet from my dad. My dad is like that. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, but I also say, you know, sometimes I, I always apologize to, you know, those before the time because I know it can be a bit anal or some people will maybe get annoyed. But I am like that. Even when we order food, we, we order food and I'll tell them, please ensure that my food is piping hot. That soup, that chicken soup was top. 
notch. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you felt about that. That was fantastic. The flavors were good, but it wasn't like. So that's what you don't have like a, 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 a little slice of bread or something to dip here for the sauce. I don't know, you don't know. Yeah, but because I give so many courses. Yeah. Man. No, 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 I'm just asking. No, I'm just thinking. Imagine another course of this. We're on the silk route. So I don't know if we danced a lot in those times. Maybe no, I think it was more the um, kings and the queen was watching the belly dancing and the dancing than anything else. No, I'm just saying. We have a fire performer, we have a welcome like no other. It's proper Silk Root vibes. Yeah. So let's see, people must enjoy it. It's gonna be a fun night. Yes, it was very entertaining. Um, lots of stuff going on, fires and dancing and... Now she's professional, man. <laughs> Come on. Wow. Stunning. See, my eyes, my eyes are lighting up, baby. I got the spots! Yeah. <laughs> Yo! Oh, I, I can smell it! Smell smell it. Shadley, Shadley, yeah. and we'll ask you the question again. What got you, Shadley? Fire! <laughs> Love it! Now she thought you were going to say the wild got you, but it's the uh, fire that got you. I don't know what the fire I'm doing. Sissa! Oh, man. Sisa. Sisa. oh man. The food tonight was uh, a Moe's Diner classic. I know everyone's going to be really, really critical because I've been critical, but I didn't know what goes into preparing the night. Literally, Oh, the lamb shank? It was... Oh, you must answer. The lamb No, you're supposed to answer because... Where's the salt? Amara, please maybe bring the sauce there, man. Are you guys enjoying the meat? Yeah. Chili, yes, of course. I love meat that is still solid but falls off the bone. They cannot give us English food on the Eastern. It's not bone. English food. Chima. What's the story behind your main dish? So the main dish is just to see how moist I can get the lamb. Mm -hmm. Is it moist enough? It falls over the bone. That's, That's when it's perfect. That's when it's perfect. See, easy, easy, easy. But is this Egypt or what? No. So this is a Hydra body. Mm -hmm. So the sauce that I've used is made with Hydra body masala. That gives you um, really the indication of a very good cook. 
somebody that can cook like that beautiful brown braised meat, leg of lamb, lang shamp. That's meat on a bone. What do you think that the, the other people never ate meat on a bone? No. Oh. Warm it up for you. You got, you got the cold one. No, but there was steam coming off it. No, there was steam, steam on mine also, but it's cold. Yeah. That's what I'm like, I'm like, I'm so nice, I'm like, no, I'm like, what the hell? This is good. It's steaming, but it's cold. Oh. I was like, what the, I, I can't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me, the steam's coming off and it's fucking cold. Oh, no, no, no. They were supposed to make curry, they were supposed to make something spicy. So how can you comment on the food? So now what? The organization wasn't that great, so um, the main meal was served quite late. And I, could, I can't eat this, this time of the night, it's just, uh, it's just not me. Warwick, no, no, no. so what did you cook? I left it up to him today. Oh, okay. Oh, you the rice? I left it up to him today. Oh, okay. Oh, I that I was literally running around getting ingredients till 4.30. When? Today. Wow. <laughs> That's what I was doing. I was doing all the, the errands. Mm. I enjoyed the food. Well, there, that's good. I enjoyed it. It was very, really, very really flavorful. It was lovely. It's not about flavor. It's about your evening. She's still going to come to us and she asked her, how was the taste of the food? But you can't answer that because it was a lamb shank. With, no, Shaggy, you need spices. to know your stories I do, I do. This is, I didn't wear a turban, then I might as well have worn a king's hat and come here and have lamb shank. Again, energy would be low because it's a midweek and um, people went to work and had to come here and so forth. There's Dipti dancing that's going to be happening. He's going to have a blast with that. I'm 100% confident of that. say that my worry they did jump in with the with the with the Cossack when it came to the Russian yeah, dance. They didn't get the they didn't get other guests involved. Whereas we got the guests involved. So this is the challenge part of the night. <laughs> I fed you guys you enough. You Filled you up with energy. Now it's time to utilize that energy we before it now we Yes, now you have to burn it off. So he's gonna teach us a few dance steps. Each couple is gonna have to come to the center, learn the dance steps, perform it. The best one wins the prize. <laughs> I must say, I enjoy all the... Three, four. See, they do love it! Tula, come, Tula! Tula, you must Tula, let's go! So you must tie up. <laughs> Fancy stuff that everybody's brought to the table. Yeah, I must say it's different. It's it was it's enjoyable. Beautiful. It's they they go out of their way to make yeah, you I feel love the entertainment. at home. <laughs> Yeah.
so, so they didn't get the guests involved. Some people didn't weren't interested. <laughs> 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 we got to get yeah. involved and they did it. So that's where I, I'm starting. Very, very Sorry, difficult. I'm, I, I'm, I'm at a seven because they mm -hmm. came in. You got your you seven. Wanted, you got you your seven. Now I'm going six. to six. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's go for a six then. Yes. So then, I mean, if you put in the masseuse, the henna, yeah. they had fire, and they had uh, the dancer. <laughs> Where is Shubi? Shubi, how freak! Look down! Entertainment was also involves kind of the music. Yes, or they, no, could be they, in they put a lot of effort they into it. They put in a lot. Yeah. Um, eight and a half? Yes, perfect. This is standing up. This was again. This is Mahlabia, and this is Kunefe. What is that word? Mahlabia. Mahlabia. No, this is not Mahlabia. Yeah. He's got this one. He's here. He has Kunefe. He's got Kunefe. Very like Mahlabia. Very much nice. See you Dessert was a disaster. So half of the Shame, I preferred man. half of the dessert. No, I think the dessert was. I think they just went way out on the dessert. The yeah. dessert, yeah. the one dessert I made, I was very transparent with that. It was a disaster. Uh, Mo, is this so big? <laughs> no, that's that's cream, but it's melting there because you guys didn't come early. I think it's ice cream. Oh. Yeah. No, it's ice cream. It's Madagascar. <laughs> it's a very expensive ice cream. <laughs> so that he made himself. No, that I bought. Is it made from Madagascar? <laughs> is it made from Madagascar monkey? Yes. Madagascar. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was a bit of a strange taste. I couldn't put my finger on it though. It's yeah, like sick, it might be like sucking your mother's milk or something. <laughs> Dessert was a disaster. Yes, I mean... The machlava was listen, nice. Listen, <laughs> but the, the one that Mo made was absolutely heavenly, perfectly balanced, definitely my, my kind of dessert, so loved it. Can you all lift up your plates quickly? Tell me I want it. And then Charles, can you check under Sumi's plate for us? Yeah. And the winners will have a little gift. We'll announce it at the end of the evening. Okay. Wow. Okay. Hey, Bronx. Yay. 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 He cheated. You win. How did you take it from here, dude? That was under your brother. All the way. You? Slide away. I saw him move it! As I lifted the plate, I was like, on yo. The, on that wine bottle trick. Mm. What are they winning? What does it say? Love you, lucky you. Love Mo and Warwick. Lucky you. Love Warwick and Mo. But in, in a number out of ten? Seven. For that? We no way, that the was the way. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm talking the whole about, meal. I'm talking about, the, just relax, I'm asking you a question. So they all give a seven. Okay, score. Eight. I agree with that. Okay. Eight. Just quickly. Seven and a half, eight. Seven and a half? Yeah. Seven and a half. I think a seven. Is In a total piece. for everything? Yeah. Seven for, for the food. They put a lot of effort in the food. Do you want to go lower? And just like that, we've come to the end of another super saucy episode on Noel Social Club. This, of course, is the second last time we'll be experiencing a prize giving. So let's get into it. Who's ready? Yes! So tonight we had two surprise little presents under each plate, but there were only two winners. Yeah. Walking away with some amazing Ozological oxygenized beauty products. <laughs> Give it up for Dula and, and okay. the Bronster. Yeah. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna score him a bit low on this one because I haven't had one conversation with him tonight. He hasn't been around his crowd the whole time. Yeah, evening. Shane, the vibe wasn't so, like the vibe was okay. So we have to either six or seven. You can decide which, whether it's a six or a seven. But that's the score we should go. The vibe for me is about us as a as a party, all interacting and having a chill together. Not about hired entertainment and all that kind of a thing. So th there was a lot of unbelievable things. And as usual, our best dressed couple tonight walks away with some gorgeous products from Black Pearl. So tonight we've got the gorgeous whitening gel serum as well as the Black Pearl whitening mask. Who walks away? Of course, this was up to our contestants to decide. Tonight's winners are... Team Pendwaddle! I would have gone a six, but just because there was so much effort gone into that because Mo and Warwick were non-existent in this thing, I'd say a seven. Mm. Uh, so, what would you write that, Rhoda? Uh, your night tonight. Oh, yes, my night tonight. I'll give it a six, yeah. But why it was around us all the time, yeah, but... Uh, no. And he was popping in and out. Remember, I never made my own food, eh? You went out of the, out of the company once, maybe once, to, twice the whole evening. Okay, but then again, other, you know, other... You can't score on that. So seven, love. You seven. Okay. Nine. It's high, but I mean, it's, I yeah. think they deserved it. No, they absolutely deserve it. They deserve it. And then tonight's ultimate Silk Root dancer goes to the amazing Charles. Charlie! I would have liked to have seen maybe some Ottomans and some more Middle Eastern, uh, a more of a Middle Eastern vibe that I missed. I would have scored him a... A nine, yeah, but I'm not going to because he was not around. So he's gonna get a. No, but that you already took off from. And he's gonna get a. Shelly? He's gonna get a. Shelly, that you already eight. took off. Eight. Eight. There's nothing here in this house that doesn't belong to them that makes it authentic. The, f the, 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 the music was authentic. The music was so gritty kind of music. That I can yeah. play on my no, no, phone no, fair through enough. Bluetooth. Tonight would have not been made possible without the amazing efforts from our hosts, The Bachelors, Mo and Warwick. And they of course walk away with a gorgeous, personalized, luxury bed set from H&S Emporium. <laughs> No, no, no. He was going to oh. get a walking nine, but he's getting an eight. Shirley, no, I don't agree with you there. We no problem. To an agreement, it's I eight. It's my score. It's my last two scorings. Okay, how do you feel about you? I'll give a seven for that as well. Seven? I wasn't, I wasn't, it wasn't. Okay, seven. So, for authenticity, probably give a six. Authenticity, eight and a half as well. Okay, perfect. Mm. Now don't forget the winners of Nawal's Social Club walk away with a three-night stay on Clifton Forth mm -hmm. to the value of 60,000 Rand. Not forgetting a 20,000 Rand cash prize brought to you by Calamari Fisheries. Yes, please. I mean, hello. <laughs> hello. All will be revealed next week at the season finale. Until then, see you later. Move on.